Well, hello everyone. This is going to be my first vloggity vlog video ish for Dark Blood Mechanical. Now, if you're wondering why I'm underneath a more modern car for once, is because this is my own car. And if any of you were real mechanics, you would know that if you have a chance to work on your own car for once, that is basically a miracle. As most mechanics will tell you that 99% of your time is pretty much consumed by their cars, never your own. So if you have a little window of opportunity to do an oil change, transmission flush, that clunking sound you hear in the suspension, you take that opportunity immediately. So, I got quite a few projects ongoing. I'm gonna take this car out of here first. Woo! I have that little hump right over my uh, my hoist that uh, the front wheel's got to hop over, so it's always an adventure. And once we're safely out of here, we get a beautiful view of my beautiful roses, which I uh, totally spend a lot of time maintaining and taking care of. Let's just ignore the dead pathway that I've got going on there. Let's just pretend you did not see that, and I did not flip the camera for you to see that. Now, what does Dark Blood have planned for this weekend? Okay, do you guys remember this car? Yeah, that was our 1979 Parisian build that we pretty much just hacked up in a weekend just to get it together as quick as possible. And uh, if you remember, this part of the video though the transmission is used and we are taking our chances here we're at least going to change the filter and gaskets for safe measure yeah so that's basically come back to bite us in the ass so i might as well take the opportunity to kind of discuss what's going on with this whole thing so as you've noticed this has no black trans am and that is because the shell has been sent out for some body work. And it'll be done in a future video, way into the future when I have an actual chance to sit down at my computer. The current status is I finished the front subframe assembly. We've got our Ride tech suspension all done, tubular control arms, coilover system back here, and we have the same system going on on the rear, but I can't do the rear until I get the shell back. Now, the transmission this is a 4L80, it's already got an upgraded pump, uh, steels, clutches, valve body, and um, I believe there were also some. Uh, billet drums installed on this thing, but I, I'll have to double check the build because this was done a while ago and we only received it recently. So, uh, the engine, I already finished this build a while ago, so this is an LS. It's a 408 stroker ETR stage 3 camshaft. I also upgraded the valve train on this thing, so it's got a shaft mount system on here. Now, of course, I've got other things going on as well. I have this car to work on. This over here is another project. You've seen this covered, uncovered a couple times and so forth. So this is my personal uh, 1981 Camaro. The reason I haven't shown any footage of it or uh, talked about it or anything is because this is gonna be a bigger project probably for next year. Uh, I'm still collecting parts for it. And uh, as anybody would know nowadays, it's nearly impossible to find parts and if you do find parts you're pretty much on a six month waiting list to get everything but yeah this over here is going to be a full build uh, engine transmission suspension 
uh, brakes. Um, here's one thing at least, this is the block. Uh, I've already machined the block. I'm not gonna give any information or any secrets on what I'm doing with this thing yet, but I will give maybe one hint of what this thing is. If you've seen my uh, avatar, then you probably would have guessed that uh, I love superchargers. Anything that obstructs your vision while driving, that's kind of my thing. I'm not saying that this is going to have a blower or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm not saying it's not going to. Looks like the Parisian's finally shown up here. It's gonna have to get parked overnight because I can't really move that into my garage right now. Look at that beauty. Woo. These cars are horrible. I gotta get rid of them. Aww. There's another one. Uh, but at least if it's funny, right? That's, yeah. that's it, that's yeah. Funny. Okay, this is a little bit dirty, but c'est la vie. So we finally got our Parisian delivered. Uh, I do need a second hand in order to move this into my garage, but I'm not gonna have that second hand until tomorrow when our buddy arrives. So for now, we're gonna step out and just leave this parked here overnight. I shouldn't have left that car outside. Okay, so it looks like the uh, party has arrived and uh, it's nicer weather, which means we're gonna be able to move that car around. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take the rear bumper over this. Oh, okay, okay. I couldn't find it too well, no. But that, that's the same damn thing. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, highly dear. No, no. no. <laughs> Cause it really doesn't matter where the quarters end up. No. It's this guy. It's the literally just, the, these bolts are the ones that I had an issue with. So they were completely screwed up, so right. you just gotta smack them I'll all. I'm making a whole new back panel. Yeah. Uh, to the inside, I'm making back panel, back panel. Um, this you know, it was patched, right? But mm -hmm. that's okay, you know, the patch are good. So, yeah, yeah. I want you actually, to, if, you, if you got five minutes of your time, yeah, come back over with me. Yeah. Just uh, to have a look at them. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab those two panels. Yeah. Don't return them. Okay. I'm gonna traverse them. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, see, they were the inside guys, right? Yeah. But they were the quarters. Yeah. I'm gonna use them for the inside guys you couldn't order. Right, right, right. right. So now if I take the quarter panel from this side, patch panel, and put it on the other side, oh, that's my inners. Oh, I see what inners. you're doing. I see what you're doing. That's you're reusing inners. what you have in there, basically. You're like, yeah, that's my inners. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The only thing we're waiting for is the outer wheelhouse. Yeah. On the right side. Yeah, those are the quarters. Yeah, yeah. Those right. are brand new. The bumper to do the rest of the body work down the street and our next guy just showed up here and this is to do our parisian that's been parked here overnight Ta -da! Hey. <laughs> one shot we're gonna try and push this thing on, the, steering wheel has no power. the steering wheel has no power all right go ahead jeff Nope, not fast enough. It's not my fat ass. It's <laughs> your fat car. <laughs> Oh. We gotta get it over the hump. Yeah, I forgot about that. We gotta get it over the hump. There we go. I don't know why this car's so heavy. Why is the front so dirty? Because it was fucking. Yo, this thing was it's sitting in a fucking garden. <laughs> well, maybe we did. I hope we fixed the exhaust. Tranny is having her period. Uh, still gotta disconnect these two lines here. 
I'm gonna drop the pins. <laughs> yeah. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, by the <laughs> Okay guys, it is now story time with Jeff. So, let me tell you a little story about this TH350. I see an ad for a Pontiac 400 in fucking eight hours away, like Sudbury. It's like 300 bucks, Pontiac 400 with transmission. I drive in a snowstorm to fucking Sudbury and the guy has a fucking motor and transmission in his backyard under like in four feet of snow and I drag it out of there he gives it to me for like 50 bucks I bring this home and I bring the motor home and I start taking it apart and the fucking motor is a 1969 like late 69 Pontiac RA4 GTO motor so these are the most rare Pontiac 400s from the GTOs and Firebirds ever I got that block, SD replacement. It was sitting in his 77 Trans Am for years. I took that block, I broke it down, service replacement block, RA4, 1969. That block is like whatever. That's the most rare you're gonna get from that year. And this worked, but obviously shit got seized. But just fun story about a $50 motor and transmission that turns out to be worth probably nine, 10 grand. <laughs> 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 Like it took a lot of force to get all that out of us, so obviously. Maybe it was just some type of money. <laughs> 40 or 44 year old banana here. Right here. <laughs> I think I want to drop the oil too. The engine? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do you have oil filter? No filter. Do you have oil? I have oil. Uh, no, I don't have oil either. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's just drop the oil and see what happens. Well, that Okay guys, so our transmission has been pulled and uh, we pretty much got it out. We did have an issue with the yoke getting seized on there. So Jeff has gone ahead and uh, cleaned up all that. And uh, what we are missing now is some transmission fluid. And we're also gonna do an oil change on this thing since it's up here. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some transmission fluid. We're gonna get engine oil and we're also gonna take a little detour and have a look at what Brian has been up to with the Trans Am. We're gonna have a quick look at that and um, keep you guys posted. Take the glass out so we get a fresh start, right? Yeah. Because he wants the dash paint in too, so that's why I'm going to take the headliner out. Yeah. Just for oversteer and shit. Might as well have everything out. We're so damn close. Well, why would you leave stuff in? All right, so I guess we're heading out. Okay, um, man. Yep. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, man. Yeah, we're going to head out now, continue doing our transmission pull. Yep. Don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just relax on the gold nads. <laughs> yo, excited, man. yo, you got a whole ritual for this, bro. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is so you don't break the what's it called? Hymen. The hymen. You don't want to break. You don't want to break the hymen. <laughs> pulling off the oil pan here and it, it got caught somewhere here and then it just yanked Jeff just dropped this in here and it splashed all the fluid pretty much all over here and uh, it also went all over his arm last thing Jeff's got to do 
is a oil filter, gasket, and clean himself up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You actually have to start this thing, run it, and then let it circulate all that fluid into the torque converter and stuff. So for now, we're gonna conclude this as done, I guess, once the engine actually starts. <laughs> Works every single time. Okay, it's still not moving, try drive. Okay, so I think you need more fluid. You got movement. It's working. Okay guys, so that pretty much concludes my very first vlog video, I guess. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, the Parisian's pretty much done, so that's gonna get sent out tomorrow morning. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, the notification bell if you like to see this type of content and uh, stay tuned for future bigger projects. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, this is getting a little bit awkward. So uh, bye. Take money. <laughs> 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 good, good shit.